Ooh. Hi, everybody. Caught me by surprise there. Uh, listen, um, I've enjoyed this show so many times. It's a real honor to be on the show with you. So, Michael, Tommy, Kevin, Robina, all of you that I know, all of you that I don't know, thank you so much for letting me be here tonight. I've been so entertained by this show, I kind of already got my popcorn going here. I'm sorry. And you know, normally I work in a show called The Cinema Magicians, along with my wife, Karen, and of course, magic legend Kenton Nepper. And we tell people how magicians used magic tricks to create what the movies now know as special effects. It's a pretty cool show to work in. Anyway, I digress. Let me let me put this away. There we go. All right. Tonight, we're going to talk about how to save humanity using the arts and thank all of you who are performing, who are watching, who are involved in the performing arts in any capacity. God bless you. I think the arts may be the only way we have to save humanity at this point. All right. And to that point, art's so important. I had some kids from our town here make some little watercolor paintings that I'm going to take you through. Oh, that's a good one right there. That This one is called How Watching the Wizard's Emporium Makes Me Feel. I like that very much. Yes, there you go. Uh, this one was a very smart young man. Uh, this one's called There's a First Time for Everything. Yeah. Well, he really put himself into it. You got to admit that. Uh, this one is called Bad Day at Grandma's. Oh, sorry. Bad day at grandma's. There it is. <laughs> yep. And uh, this one, I'm not sure I understand. Apparently, it's called Mother, When I'm Gone, Delete My Browsing History. That's weird. <laughs> oh, well. Last but not least, this is my favorite. Uh, this young man, very sharp, already got himself elected president of the student council. And when I saw this, I thought it was going to be called something like Cactus Basking in the Desert Sun. You know, I'm out here in Phoenix and Las Vegas, and it's very hot, a lot of sun. And so I, I thought Cactus Basking in the Desert Sun would be a great name for this. But he said, no, it's actually called The Missiles Launch at Midnight. <laughs> Smart boy, Damien. He really is. Yes. So uh, you see some of how this art helps you express yourself. So we're going to talk about the arts and how it affects people. And to do that, I'm gonna introduce you to a friend. Yep, this everybody is Manny. All right, say hi, Manny. Hi, Manny. He says hi. You see, <laughs> Manny, just like all of us, is born an empty vessel. And the term ocean of humanity is pretty correct because we are 80% water. So if you ever get separated from the body of water and go looking for meaning, it could very well lead you in a couple of paths. Manny found his path led him to religion. Yes, it did. And the world's religions tell us that we can be transformed from something basic to something extraordinary, just like water to wine. Yes, water to wine. There it is. Perfect. Yes. He's been transformed. Now he has so much to share. He turns to his art and he shares his art with the world, making pictures and drawings and expressing himself, doing everything he can to show people the marvelous thing that life has become for him. But there's one other player that comes along and that is science. And science says, hey Manny, it's not so fast on the miracle stuff. Most of this you're experiencing can be easily explained by scientific principles, and that turned his poor world upside down. This blew his mind, but the scientists were quick to tell him, oh, there's not much going on here other than something called the hydrostatic principle. It has to do with air pressure inside and outside of an inverted container and such and such like that. But there's one more player in this mighty cosmic dance, and that is magic. So here's art, there's science, here's religion, and then comes magic. And magic says you can go one step further, something neither of the others can explain. 
very easily, like this. That's magic. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Merlot. And if something like this doesn't excite you about being a nearly 100 degree hot mess of a human being, well, you might as well just crawl back into the ocean and that's all. Thank you all very much for having me here. Hope to see you again soon. Where's that popcorn? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs>